Florida's Poison Control Center say that they are receiving more emergency calls from people who have taken too much zinc. It is a vitamin used to boost a person's immune system. Too much of it, though, can make you sick, like pretty much anything else. It appears people are trying to take it, are taking it to try to prevent either catching COVID-19 or to try to treat the symptoms. Dr. Don Soley is director of Florida's Poison Control Center's Jacksonville office and joins us via Zoom this morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Would you explain what too much zinc does to the body? How does it make you sick? Well, luckily, at least when people take zinc, um, if you take one large dose, it's not too much of a problem. It's if you take a bunch of it over time that makes it more of a problem. Uh, but with a one-time dose, normally what we'd expect is probably some nausea, some vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, things like that. And based on the kinds of calls that you're receiving during the pandemic, what are you able to, to, to figure out in terms of what people are doing when it comes to zinc related to COVID-19? Well, what we have found is, as well as with the zinc and some of the other vitamins, vitamin D, vitamin A, as well as vitamin C, during this time, during the pandemic, a lot of people are trying to boost their immune system or try to make sure that they have adequate treatment or just good status to try and nutritionally try and be in the best shape that they can be. So they have been taking a little bit more than higher doses or not following the instructions on the bottle. And it's interesting too, because you know naturally we probably eat things every day that have the vitamins that you just listed, including zinc, and then people are taking a vitamin on top of that. Uh, you know, at what point do you decide that and know how much is too much? Well, Typically, you want to involve your physician in any nutritional supplement decisions you make because depending on what medications you're on, there's always some risk of some interactions. So we always recommend that you're under the supervision or under the recommendations of your local physician as far as nutritional supplements. And, and it's interesting, I think, that because people tend to think, well, it's a vitamin, it can't hurt me. But the reality is, mixed with other things, it, it could. So I, I wanted to, in case our viewers missed our story last week about ivermectin, it, uh, poison control, as you know, uh, your office notified of us of this, has seen a 282% jump in calls from people misusing and eating it. It's typically used to deworm animals. I mean, why are people taking this as a way to either prevent or treat COVID? There is some data and there has been some studies out there looking at ivermectin and that's part of the reason why some people are taking it. Part of our danger and what we're worried about at the Poison Information Center is that people are using veterinary products at this point. So they're using things that are used for livestock. So large animals such as different pastes and liquids and therefore they're overdosing on it, not intentionally, but accidentally. Do you think that part of the confusion is, is that while it is primarily used in livestock, the reality is, is that it can be used in humans for treating, you know, scab scabies and any, and any kind of parasite? Is that, do you think, is the confusion? People think it's just safe to use? Well, under the auspices of a physician, again, it is prescribed for certain medical conditions, like you just described. So it is FDA approved for certain conditions in humans. It's just not at this point FDA approved for use in COVID-19. Thank you very much, doctor, for clarifying that, given the fact that, that a local livestock um, businesses are seeing this flying off the shelves by humans who are obviously buying this to take this for some kind of treatment for COVID-19. I appreciate you clearing up the confusion about that. Thanks for your time this morning. Thank you. And we want to remind you, if anyone feels sick after taking anything, poison control is free. It is available to you 24-7. You can call 800-222-1222. It's easy to remember. Everyone who answers the phone, you should know it's a doctor, a nurse, or a pharmacist.